On this day, October 31, 1915, the presidential elections are won by the Dr. Francisco Bertrán, sole candidate of those elections. On a day like today, Dr. Francisco Bertrán Barahona, doctor of medicine and surgery, Honduran politician, was provisional president twice and then 32nd constitutional president of the Republic of Honduras between 1950 and 1919. In an attempt to state in the presidency, a revolution broke out against him. Francisco Bertrán Barahona was born in the city of Juticalpa, department of Olancho, on October 9, 1866. His parents were Pedro Bertrán from Catalonia, Spain, and Miss Josefa Barahona from Juticalpa, Olancho. He died on July 15, 1926, in La Ceiba, Atlántida. Dr. Francisco Bertrán Barahona was president of Honduras on three occasions. The first was as an interim between the years of 1911 to 1912, since he was an intermediary and conciliator between the government of Miguel Rafael Davila Cuellar. The second time he was president was between 1913 and 1915, when General Manuel Bonilla Chirinos became ill and the presidency was provisionally deposed in the person of Bertrán Barahona. The third occasion to take the command of Honduras was between the years of 1915 and 1919, winning the elections in his last year of government, he was forced to resign for supporting the presidential candidacy of his brother-in-law, Nazario Soriano. In such a way, with his succession, he would continue to advise the other political candidates of the other parties allied to stop their claims and thus broke out the first civil war of Honduras, or called Revolution of the Nineteenth which ended with the intervention of the diplomat of the United States of America. This was a day in the history of Honduras.